Hey guys, it's Jaden. Welcome back to Cedar Zoo. Last episode, we built uh, these three massive domes. Um, if you have not seen that video, highly recommend going and watching it so you're up to date with what we did. We'll do a little, we'll do a little run through right now um, of what we did. Did a little bit more rock work and tree work here, but we're going into the first dome it is uh, pretty much majority of it is the habitat for these little advarks um, so yeah there seems to be they seem to be a bit, boop. they seem to be um, <laughs> super happy I'm still not sure what to do with this tunnel so if you do have any suggestions please let me know because I am a bit um, lost with what to do um, this is the main big Dome, the first dome, which is, which is, I wanted it to be a, a like a rainforest, and yeah, we did like custom path there, some pathing, and then it goes into the second dome here, which is currently empty. Um, that's what we'll, we will be working on today. This second dome, um, we'll do another another habitat for it, and it'll go out. Yeah, I I've got some ideas, um, but. I don't have too much of an idea of, I've just got, you know, you, you know, I've just got an idea and I'm just going to go with it, alright? So we'll just do the terrain work a little bit here first, because I definitely want um, it to be a link, little bit sunken as well as have a little bit of a mountain up here in the back and a little, um, little pond area for the animals that I don't actually remember what they are. When, when recording this, so it's a mystery to the both of us, so I'm sure we will find out what the go is, but for now, just doing a little bit more terrain work, because it's a bit boring when it's, it's a bit boring when it's completely flat, I must admit, so yeah, I want it to be a little bit, a little bit different, and change of elevation, so we'll probably have the enclosure come out the back a little bit and maybe have maybe have some shops I don't know we might just have the enclosure here I'm also not entirely sure if we'll have another entrance to come up here out this side or just the one at the front so it might just be the one at the front and then well you never know I don't know we'll see but um we don't do that this episode but that's just a thought maybe we need another another entrance exit for the domes or maybe not I don't know um, but I definitely don't want this path to look like that so I reckon we will do some terrain work and have it so it's a little, a little slope natural natural slope that comes down and um, we'll just have it on the have the path on the ground rather than like a little bridge because I'd rather that than a um, path bridge if that makes sense I don't know I know what I'm talking about guys so yeah also thank you guys so much for the support on this channel recently it's completely blown up it's all because of Planet Zoo so thank you very much Frontier um, but yeah it's completely blown up so um, if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by make sure to subscribe and like the video if you are enjoying this content thus far I'm loving loving making these sorts of um videos I love Planet Zoo Planet Coaster Planet Zoo awesome there's also going to be a um depending on when this comes out but an update f free update for the game which will be pretty cool so we'll definitely have to look at that when um when when it comes out as well but yeah if you're new here Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and get it sorted. But for now, we're going to be getting into a time lapse of this habitat. So enjoy.
Alright guys, I am back. We're still doing the time lapse, but I just thought I would let you know what uh, has been done. Um, I definitely wanted this to feel very rainforesty, just as the other dome, but I also wanted it to feel completely different, so it's more swamp-like, it's more natural in the sense of like, or considering it's three quarters habitat, I definitely wanted it to be, yeah, very, very lush and swamp-like for their, for their enrichment. I also found that they escaped quite a bit and they still do, so I definitely need to, um, change the fence situation because somehow I think they can climb up over those rocks. Bit annoying, um, but yeah, the habitat is majority of it is done um we do this rock wall because it, it was a bit it was a bit yuck that um just that hill there so yeah cover it up with some rocks as best i can and then we also try do, or do i do try do my best at doing some vine work that like goes from the trees across across the pathway just here make it look more run down because I do want it to be quite immersive with the feeling that you are literally in a rainforest um, or, or swamp or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, yeah, so I definitely wanted it to be very vegetation, vegetational and I wanted it to feel, yeah, you can just see by the look of it like it looks there's so it's it's definitely feels like it's been overrun but like it's still maintained in that sense so that's definitely what I was going for so I was just trying to get as much greenery and vibrance as I could and I think it turned out pretty well and it's pr I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed and happy with how it turned out for my first um dome so yeah Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well because I think it looks I think it looks pretty cool. We'll do a um might do a walkthrough at the end again just to show you guys in case you guys just want to skip straight to it. It'll probably just be at the end, but yeah, here I am trying to do some vine of vine work. I've never done it before, so but it's it looks good and I've seen other people use it, so I'm like, you know what? What the hell? Let's let's try it, shall we? So yeah, just trying to do it as best I can, and it turns out pretty well. I'm pretty, pretty happy with myself with it. Probably could have used less or more or whatnot, but it looks good. This is a little, little area, and we've got more of those, um, uh, what are they called? I, uh, I don't even, those, the educational speakers, um, for the habitats. So I've got a few of them around here, because the guests love them. It brings in, the, brings in the guests. If this, if this zoo was, franchise mode, I would be making so much money because I think the zoo's looking great. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Going through a bunch of stuff, just trying to make it look more run down and lush. And I was just experimenting with a bunch of different things. So yeah, it looks, it's completely different. I think it's got a completely different feel from this dome to the second, from the, the first dome. I I really like that. It's two feels like two completely different um, environments. Like this one's more, yeah, lush and rainforest-like, and this one's more rundown swamp. Yeah, so I think I've done quite a good job with that. And then I like this corner too because it's got like the best of both worlds. You've got like the outdoor exhibit that you can see through here. Then you've got the indoor one right here as well. So. I think that's pretty pretty cool idea. There were also yeah, had a few mating issues, um, so I had to kick one of them, but it turned out okay. I also tried to yeah cover this cover this door up as best I could to make it as natural looking as I could, if that makes sense. So looking back, I probably could have done it a little bit differently maybe, um, but in the end we got there. So. Yeah, I also definitely wanted it to make it look very, very night at, very good at night. Jeez, what am I saying? So yeah, I'm going through adding 
a lot of light, but also not a lot of light because I wanted it to be, I want it to be like a rainforest, like not, there's not much light in a rainforest at night, so it's just the moonlight, so yeah, I definitely wanted it to feel very, um, natural with the lighting, with, that's why we're going with like greens and, um, like oranges to match match the trees in the environment, so I think it turned out quite well. So I had a cool idea to have the path come out of this dome and go sort of into like a, um, a rectangle glass box that looks out another exhibit, because we're going to do another exhibit outside of the outside of the dome. So at this point I didn't actually know we were going to do another exhibit, I was just doing this to maybe, you know, let some more light in or I don't, I don't really know, um, but yeah, it turned out that it's going to be like a little glass, glass room, um, fishbowl if you will, to look out into the next habitat that we're going to be working on. Um, so yeah, I definitely like the look of it. We do change these panel glasses just to big plain clear ones um, because I think it's just too too much with all the um all the lines and everything that the the roof glass is cool I like that because of the shadows and everything but we changed the um yeah we changed the wall glass just to a plain glass sheet um and that gives it a little bit more it just calms it down a little bit more and you can see out a little bit better without being like distracted Add in some TVs on the wall just to give a, get a, give a little bit more information and promotion of the habitats and just some more general information um, about, oh, about, I think, I can't even remember what, well, probably like deforestation or something like that. But yeah, here I am, here I am outlining the habitat. We do end up changing it because we got some uh, little, little animals for the for the enclosure, like look how sick that is. And then yeah, here I am, I go through now and change the um, glass just because it's too full on. We could could have ended up just leaving it open maybe, that would have been pretty cool, but um, yeah, we just put these clear planes of glass in and I think it looks, I think it looks a lot better. Um, it's a lot cleaner, there's less lines, and it just, yeah, I think it just looks better just more professional. We change all this pathing system and everything like that uh, just because we change animals which is pretty funny. We go from small animals to big animals which is yeah pretty cool. We put some ostriches in there which is which is sick. Like they're awesome. You should see them running around there. They're so cool. Like they're sick. Um, but yeah we 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 do a lot a lot of um, a lot of work so we add like another floor glass piece so you can look out through there then we also add a um, path that comes out of the dome and up around so it's sort of like a another little viewing gallery and oh, it's I'm really really happy with how this whole dome exhibit all of it turned out like it's it's so sick like Oh, it's awesome. I'm probably tooting my own horn, but you know, who cares? It's it's fine. I built it, so I'm allowed to enjoy it, all right? But we'll probably put these animals somewhere else in the zoo just because they're they're cute. They're little tiny animals, so we'll um I'm sure we'll be able to find some find some space for them, but we get the ostriches in now and they're they're massive. Look at them. Like they're they're only like the size of the wall it's ridiculous and right here I was like hmm wonder wonder what we should do because I definitely wanted a um I knew I wanted some sort of higher platform but I didn't realize they're so damn tall these things so I had to sort of make something up as I go um, but I think it turns out well in the end we do this little overpass and then we change change the terrain so they go under it and I think it think it turns out quite well indeed we have this little this little big area there for the guests there's seating and information and multiple viewing ex sections and it looks sick I'm really happy with how this little platform area turned out um, it has like a little little bridge there and it looks looks good but this path was atrocious to 
to try get because I wanted everything square to make it easier for me. But um, it just wasn't cooperating, guys. If you've played this game, you'll know sometimes it just does not want to work. And here I am doing this little um, bridge. So I had to obviously hide everything from the guests as well as the um, the ostriches so they couldn't get out. So yeah, there's a bit building and terrain work to try to get around, but we got there in the end and then they can go under the bridge and the guests, uh, it's, they can look, stay up there. I actually haven't seen the guests come up here yet. Um, not too many guests have actually come into the second dome. Um, so not too many people have come out the back of here, but once they, once they start rolling in, they won't be, they won't be stopped. So, um, yeah, it did a lot of, did a lot of work. Try to make it as detailed as possible because it is quite an attraction seeing these things up close and personal. It would be pretty cool to, um, like have like the path go, like walk in the actual enclosure and you could like feed them. That would be that. I think that would be something cool that they should add into the, into the game, like an actual experience where they go and feed the animals and I reckon that would be sick. So yeah, Frontier, make that happen. I'm just a small, small YouTuber, but I want that wish. So my wish is your command. Railings all the way around, just I wanted it to try and feel um, somewhat similar to the style of the dome. So we're doing the, the same wood, the same detailing all the way around. So I wanted it to be, yeah, quite, quite similar with with it being pretty much this part of the building because I didn't want it to feel like another another building. I wanted it to feel part of it. Same with that long uh, viewing gallery on the other side. I definitely wanted it to feel part of the building as well. So that's why we did the same wood, the same concrete. Yeah, definitely, definitely like it. And there's a little ostrich sign. I don't know about how I feel about it being tilted. If you guys rather it tilted or straight, let me know. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it now, now that I've seen it. When, when you, you when you're building it, you think it's all right. But looking back, I don't know. I don't know. Then we add this nice little floor in that we do the same. We added the same to um the other walking gallery so yeah we add this nice little I was just trying to find like some sort of wood color but we didn't really find one so I just wanted like a green um it looks all right but yeah we did added the same wood flooring to the other viewing gallery and I think it looks quite nice I don't actually quite like this this um I think it's a roof but it's we use it for a floor so yeah I think it looks all right And we go and add the roof. I definitely wanted it to be quite low. Um, didn't really want it to be too too tall. So yeah, we lower it a little bit and make it make it more um, immersive, I guess you could say. And then realized it was part of the floor, so I had to redo it and all. But yeah, we add some supports in, and that's that's pretty much it. We do do a lot of decorating for the actual habitat but I'll leave that in a time lapse at the end so um yeah if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it because it really really helps me out and I really appreciate it so with that being said I'll leave you with the time lapse and I'll see you in the next video see ya